In March, we told you about the first annual local Can You Sing competition, where one winner would have the spotlight plus a cash prize and an opportunity to record a song in a professional recording studio, as well as sing that song on Connecticut style. And the best part, a portion of the proceeds benefit After the Storm, a local organization that helps cancer survivors heal, restore balance to their lives. Joining me now is the grand prize winner, Charlie Tiernan, along with the event organizer, Jill Nessie, and one of the four judges, Erin Christine, who was also a contestant on American Idol this season, right? Yes. This is awesome, guys. Welcome <laughs> to the show. It's nice to have you, you here, and congratulations you. to you, Thank Charlie. You. Um, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. What grade you're in? Have you always been singing? Yeah, I think I was singing since the time I came out of my mom's <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. And what is it that you like to sing? Um, I like to sing a lot of pop music and stuff. I love Mariah Carey. <laughs> um, now, what made you enter the competition? Well, it's just a chance to be heard, and it's for such a great cause. Great. Uh, now, Jill, you're the organizer of the yes. event. Did it turn out exactly how you had planned? It, it's what you it turned out better than planned. Oh, good. Uh, such amazing talent, and got to meet Charlie, who's fabulous. Yeah. Um, it was really, really. You had exciting. a big turnout. Very big. Great. Yeah. Um, how many people were out there? there would you say? Well, for the finals, there were 25 finalists. Oh, good. And um, it was standing room only, and people cheered, and, and it was just really a great day. Now, Charlie's going to sing "After the Storm" for us, and yes. that's something you created. Yes, I wrote that. And just tell us a little bit about the song. I wrote that for um, the survivors of breast cancer to kind of describe what they go through, the process they have to go through, and mm -hmm. it, it's basically a storm and, sure. and how they get through it and, Great. and go on. All right, yeah, now, Erin, uh, you were one of the judges. You kind of flipped roles around because yeah. uh, <laughs> tell us about your experience. You're on American Idol this year. How cool is that? Um, it was unbelievable <laughs> to be able to sing in front of my idols, Mariah Carey, and mm -hmm. it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what were you judging? Uh, what made? What were you judging first? And what made Charlie stand out? We were looking for somebody who had pitch, um, stage presence, and definitely confidence on stage. So important. Mm -hmm. And Charlie. Oh my God, she was amazing. <laughs> she had all of that. I mean, she's 12 years old. Yeah. And I mean, the age la the age limits ranged from like 12 to 12 and up. Okay. Like yeah. Up. There was like a 70 year old, I yes. think. That no was. kidding. So Charlie <laughs> just was. stood out. I mean, her stage presence and her confidence was unbelievable, and she had such power with her voice. So she's really amazing. Great. Well, we can't wait to hear you, Charlie. Now, Jill, you also have another upcoming competition. Tell us the yes, details. Yes, we do. It's the month of June. Okay. Um, there's three different venues for it, and you can check it out by. Checking out the website, it's mm -hmm. C A N U S I N G dot com. Of course, the link will be over at uh, WTNH.com. Now, yes. what are the ages and categories for this well, one? Well, we're going to do two categories this time 10 year old to 17 year old. Okay. And then 17 and up. Very and good. And there'll be two, two separate prizes as well. All right, now, Charlie, what's next for you? Are you going to keep singing? Yeah, I'm going to try to. I'm auditioning on Broadway and stuff, so. <gasps> Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to you. All right, we're going to put the information up at the bottom of your screen. Uh, if you want to be a contestant for Can You Sing, you can go to www.canyousingct.com or you can call 203 318 4225. Coming up next, Jill and Charlie are going to head over to Stage 8. Uh, they're going to perform after the, after the Storm. That's all when Style returns. We'll be right back. Funerals are a very difficult thing for a family to go through. Besides the sorrow, loved ones are left with the decisions, the details, and the high cost of arranging a funeral. That's why Funeral Advantage was formed, to help protect your family in time of need. It pays your loved ones up to $20,000 cash immediately for funeral and any other expenses. It was so easy. There were no long, complicated forms to fill out, and no physical exam or doctor visit was required. Funeral expenses are rising steadily and can easily cost $9,000 or more. But the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255, leaving your loved ones the financial burden to pay the rest. What a relief knowing that my benefits will never be canceled and my rate is locked in for life. If you're between 40 and 85, get the facts today that could help keep your family financially protected. Call the toll-free number to get your free information guide. Funeral Advantage is something we'll all need. There's no risk or obligation. Don't put it off. Call now. To get your free information guide, call 1-800-558-4344. You have absolutely no risk or obligation. That's 1-800-558-4344.
1-800-558-4344. Don't wait. Call now. Register today for Race in the Park. Go to the community page at WTNH.com. Stop. 